industry. Offering this evening the celebrated American musical play Showboat, with music by Jerome Kern, book and lyrics by Oscar Hammerstein II, founded on Edna Ferber's best-selling novel, Showboat. <laughs>
Joe? Is this gentleman here, Master Ravenel? Huh? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, what is it? The sheriff said the judge wants to see you. Did he say what for? He's saying nothing serious. He's to talk over some trouble that happened last year. Oh. You'll excuse me, ma'am? Why, certainly. I hope I'll see you again in a little while. Good day. Joe. Yes, Miss Nola. You saw that young man I was talking to? Yep, I see them. See the lot like him on the river. Oh, Joe. He was such a gentleman. Where's Miss Julie? I gotta tell her. I gotta ask her what she thinks. Better ask the old man River what he thinks. He knows all about them boys. He knows all about everything. There's an old man called a Mississippi. That's the old man that I'd like to be. What does he care if the world's got trouble? What does he care if the Come on, Julie. 
Let's go and pack our things. All right, Steve. Julie, I'm going with you. Now, why you stay here? No daughter of mine's going to talk to that lion, did Let me go, Mother. Never mind, honey. You'd better stay here. We'll be all right. Well, Hawk, now what? Yeah, Parthe, the thing we got to do now is figure out how we're going to give a show without Steve. Uh, you're just as bad off for a leading woman. Well, Parthe, I was thinking we'd let Nola jump in. She knows all the parts. Over my dead body. There never was an actress in my family. They ain't gonna be. Well, she don't know much about acting, but she's got a million-dollar smile. Ain't gonna act. Oh, now, sure, sure. We can make out with Nola. But who's gonna be the leading man? We haven't oh, uh, got... Captain Hawks. Who are you, sir? Uh, Ravenel's my name. Gaylord Ravenel. The Tennessee Ravenels. Well. I thought, sir, if I could have a bed on your boat tonight, I could uh, pay you my fare tomorrow at Fort Adams. I uh, expect to remit that. Uh, say, uh, you ever acted... Act? On the stage. Been an actor. We need a juvenile lead. Uh, you mean, sir, that's that... just what he means, young man. We don't like to pick up actors off the docks, but we can't be choosy now. Madam, your courtesy is only exceeded by your charm. Huh. <laughs> uh, you better take the job. Fifteen a week, no responsibility, chance to see life. I accept with pleasure, sir. Then that's done. Meet your leading lady. My daughter, Magnolia. Hello, Mr. Ravenel. We meet again, Miss Nola. You see, wonderful things do happen in real life. And so Magnolia Hawks and Gaylord Ravenel become leading lady and leading man on Captain Andy's showboat, trooping up and down the Mississippi to the applause of the river folk. One day, Gay asked Nola to marry him, and she does. The years bring changes. As Mr. and Mrs. Ravenall, they leave the showboat to see life in Chicago. They're riding high when Captain Andy and Parthy come to visit them in 1893 at the time of the World's Fair. And look, Mother, there's a Ferris wheel way over there. What's that place there? The streets of Carlo. Ladies and gentlemen, fatally deaf. See her do the dance of the seven veils. That's what she is. Look, look at that now. The droves of men coming out of there. That's where little Egypt dances the hoochie coochie. Hoochie coochie. Look. Man ought to be ashamed to see near the place. What? No lie, is that your father coming out of there? <laughs> father? Father? Hello, Nola. <laughs> Hi, Father. <laughs> While the cards are running for me, honey, I must play them. All right, darling. Oh, I'm so happy and so proud of you. Why do I love you? Why do you love me? Why should there be so happy as we? And you see the wild world. Love 
assure you. Thank you. They got the best rooms here of any boarding house in Chicago. Gee, Frank, this is a big room, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't like this in the old days on Captain Andy's show boat, huh? Hey, can we uh, look inside this closet? Sure, look right in. They don't seem to be using much of it. Well, there's more space than they need with everything they've got in pawn. A gambler is what he is. Ten years off and on, uh, they started coming here, right after the World's Fair. Sometimes he'd strike it rich, and off they'd go to the Sherman house. <laughs> and then they'd be coming back here, a pawn and things. His fancy cane or diamond ring or fur coat oh, and everything. No, no, no. Nola. Ellie. Frank. No. Know each other? Oh, sure we do. Oh. We were on a showboat together. Oh, Nola, dear, it's been years. Oh, Ellie, my, but it's good to see you. Oh. How did you know where we live? Well... Well, as a matter of fact, Nola, they just came here to look for rooms. I told them you were leaving. Oh, but... Oh, yes, of course. You see, Ellie, these are only temporary quarters. It's so near Gay's business. And... Huh. I'll be downstairs. You can let me know about the room. Okay. Uh... Well, is uh, Gay doing well, Nola? Oh, yes. He's a big success. Oh, that's fine. Uh, we're doing pretty good. Yeah. We opened New Year's Eve at the Trocadero. Oh, I've been there often. Uh, not lately, though. Oh, uh, say, Nola, I, I was thinking uh, if you needed a little money, you know, maybe I could fix it so you can get a job, maybe singing and playing the guitar like you used to on the showboat. Oh, that'd be fine, Nola. Oh, well, I'm afraid Gay would never hear of it. Of course, I'd like to. I mean, just as a lark, oh, sure. I don't need the money. Of course you don't. Uh, Mrs. Ravenel. A boy just left this letter for you. Oh, thank you, Mrs. O'Brien. Must be from Gay Ellie. Remember, I've got to have this room today, Mrs. Ravenel. I'll wait in the parlor. Will you excuse me a minute, Ellie? I've got to see what Gay says. Sure. He probably wants to meet me somewhere. Oh. Nora, what's the matter? Is Gay hurt? No. I... Here, Ellie. You read it. I may believe it if I hear somebody else say it. Sure not. Dearest, by the time this letter reaches you, I shall be on a train bound God knows where. There's nothing left to pawn and no more friends to borrow from. I'm doing this because I think it's right. And because I love you. Please believe I'll... Always love you. Goodbye. Your own gay. Oh, no. I... I never thought of living without gay. Well, he seems to think you'd be better off. Better off? I never complained. I've lived like this half the time. One room, washing clothes in the basin, cooking food over a gas jet. But I loved him. And if all that went with it, I... I was willing to take it. I thought he knew that. Nola. Remember what we said about the Trocadero? The Trocadero? Oh, yes. I might try that. I'll... I'll think it over. We'll leave you alone, Nola. You can get us at the Forbes Hotel, honey. Goodbye, Nola. Goodbye. Show 
Hello, Julie. Hello, Frank. Gee, it's like old times, huh? Ain't Nola doing that number grand? Yeah. She sure is. She's singing your song, Julie. The one you sang in the showboat? Mm-hmm. The manager said he don't need another singer. Of course, that's true, because well, you're the star. Maybe he'll give Nola a job anyway, huh? Frank. Yeah, Julie? I'm walking out of this place. And listen, don't tell Nola I was ever here. Remember now. Don't tell her. Sure, Julie. What do you say, boss? Rotten. Oh, gee, Mr. Green. She was a star on the Cotton Blossom, the showboat. A star of a showboat don't mean nothing in Chicago. Hey, boss. Yeah, what? Just want to tell you, uh, Prima Donna said she was going on a tear. What? On the day before we opened? That settles it. She's through. Yeah, she said if you want a girl to take her place, you better grab the girl to just some. I can't afford to take chances on amateurs with a $2,000 production. Wait, let me think. Say, hey, girlie, your personality's all right. We can only teach you some up-to-date numbers. And hit that number again and trick it. Like this. Yeah, da, da, da. Yeah, da, da, da. Try it. Play it, Jake. He's got a swim. No, no, ragged. I know. All right. Go ahead. He's got a swim. What do you say, boss? That's all right. Hold it. Does she get the job? Sure. She opens New Year's Eve. years. 
Ever see Nola since Chicago? Why, yes. I I sneaked into a theater once where she was playing. <laughs> you know, Kay, seems like fate. My bumping into you down the river this afternoon. Nola will be long any minute now. Captain Andy, you only found me by accident. Won't it be better if I just drop out of sight again? Her life is happy, complete. Oh, Father, are you out there? I was going to... Nola. Yeah, is gay. Here's Nola gay. Gay. Nola. Gay. Come. Come up on the top of deck. We can talk. Will you? Nola.